Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? I really do like this shadow anime. I think this is probably getting just as gory as the Chainsaw Man anime, funny enough. And with this character being so absolutely disgusting, um, it makes me really curious as to why he's playing the role that he's playing. Um, I mean, clearly to just maybe seem like he's an off brand of his sister and whatever his sister had going for him, she was just, or sorry, whatever the sister had going for her, he just had to accept the fact that he naturally had the same type of abilities but it's almost like he wanted her to be the front, right, front line and center of the attention when it comes to powerful swordmanship uh, and all that different stuff. So, like she says, when she's captured, she has learned so much from fighting her brother in a sword fight, but he has learned nothing from her. Meaning... Any time that he thought he was doing these, you know, creative uh, moments where he's he shows us he goes into like this blue mode and he just starts cutting her up, slicing her up. But what he's really doing is fainting. He's fainting every single hit. He's ah, like, so if I was going to swing downwards, I would stop just short or pull just far enough away so I can still finish my swing and get that feeling up the swing. But I'm not actually making contact. Him doing this continuously times, she felt it, and by reaching for her neck, knowing that there was almost a blade at it or a some type of uh, attempt at her throat, it goes to show you that must be what she's talking about when it comes down to her learning things about fighting him. And then to think that you know she's trying to cover it up, like yeah, just worry about me. Don't worry about my brother. If you worry about my brother. I'm going to kill you. Um, that was a ultimately new side of the coin that I really loved about that this week's episode. Is To be fair, the brother is a ridiculous savage and doesn't need any protection from her. But it's almost like that acting role, that thing he's been playing at, has affected her to think that she is the one who's actually doing the protecting which I think was pretty abundantly clear she wasn't when all of a sudden she's saved by her, uh, she's saved by people that should not have been able to fight the people that she just dealt with, right? Or, or that she would have been dealing with. So to know that there was someone, an outside source that probably, you know, helped her and the, one of the best people out there is her brother that she learned swordsmanship from, she kind of gave him a look that made me think that she knew um there's something up with him like he's not he's not showing all of his cards type of deal so i can't wait to see what that whole lifestyle is like with them but at the end of the day the best part was the ending and all of the shadow garden pretty much disbanding away from him they're not ending shadow garden it seems like they're just they're leaving him <laughs> right they're like we must leave and goodbye which I think this is just uh, the formality of him going to school, him leaving, because he's continuously getting older and older throughout part of this week's episode. And at the point where he gets to an age where he needs to be going to school or he needs to be, you know, uh, being watched even by more eyes, it would make sense that he would not be able to be with the Shadow Garden nearly as much because everything they do is in shadow. So, all that being said, I hope you all are having an amazing day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. And if you do have anything else you want to go over in the comments, I will be the first one to see it and reply to y'all. Um, if I do have the answers anyway, if it's just something that I can't answer, then let it rock and I'll maybe someone else will show up and answer it. But regardless, thank y'all so much for the support. Like, subscribe, and I'll definitely talk to you in the next one. Peace.